Okay guys, so on January 24th, Apple released the new Mac mini with the M2. And obviously I just had to get my hands on it because it was so cheap. I only paid $6.99 plus tax, that's Canadian. That's actually $5.99 USD and I'll put the other uh, price equivalencies on the screen. But let's get straight into the unboxing and the box is quite simple. We have the Mac mini logo here. And at the back, you can see it is the eight gigabyte, 256 gigabyte base model Mac mini M2. So let's get this opened up. Classic Apple design. And the first thing we see is the Mac mini. Stainless steel, like a solid block of aluminum. I'm just gonna put this to the side. We'll talk a little bit more. Let's see what else is in the box. We got the standard Apple pamphlets. And of course, the sticker makes its return. Inside the box, we also have the power adapter cable. Very neatly packed. And that's it. That is most of the components of the Mac. It only comes with a power port, no keyboard and no mouse that you will have to purchase that separately. And of course, the best part about a Mac is this box will eventually just slide down. Okay, enough about the box. Let's take a look at this mini and it's actually relatively small. If I were to compare it, this is an iPhone 12. It's a very sleek, get these off. Okay, set these to the side there. So at the back we have the ports. So it comes with a dedicated ethernet port. Obviously you have a power uh, adapter cable goes in here, your power button, two lightning ports or USB-C, sorry. And you have an HDMI, let me zoom in here, HDMI 2.0 and you have standard USB 3 ports. And of course you do have a headphone jack. now. One thing I will say is that the Mac Mini Pro actually comes with four of these USB-C uh, or Thunderbolt ports here. And the great thing about this, as opposed to the M2 laptops, is that it comes with a dedicated fan. You can see these are the vents in here. Other than that, it's a very, very solid uh, unit here. And the only other indication I can see at the front is this LED light to indicate whether it's on or off. Very brief there. And at the bottom, you have this rubberized texture. And as you can see, it is picking up fingerprints, but easy to clean away. And you have the Mac mini printing right there. So that's it for the actual unit. Nothing else. Um, I'm actually quite surprised of how uh, small this unit is and just for more comparison this is the macbook air this is the m1 so just so just for some context there but that's it that is the mac mini in a nutshell i will be doing a full review on this and i'll actually be comparing the 8 gigabyte m2 mini versus the 16 gigabyte m1 air just to see how they compare now, one of the advantages of this is this was very cheap. This is the very first time that Apple has actually dropped price on a new Mac product with upgraded specs. I made a previous video stating why you should stick to the M1, but with this new product at least at such a cheap price, I'm willing to bet that this might be the best buy if you're not looking for a laptop, but subscribe to the channel. A video will be dropping soon. I'll actually have this set up as well. I'll include that in this video. 
and we'll go from there. So I did mention that this Mac mini does not come with a mouse or keyboard. So I actually have just a standard Bluetooth um, keyboard and just a standard wireless mouse. And what you can actually do is if you don't have the Apple products with the USB ports here, I'm actually just gonna plug in the dongles. Everything is plug and play. And these keyboards, any standard keyboards and mouse will work with this Mac mini. And let's get this hooked up to a monitor. Now, one of the other really cool things about this Mac mini is that you also don't need a Mac display. Any monitor that supports HDMI will work with this Mac mini. So don't feel compelled that you have to spend a lot of money on an HDR display from Apple. 